Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. Let's start with some English work. Today's English work is going to be all about nouns. Okay. Have you seen this word before? Nouns. Even if you haven't seen the word before, I bet that all of you know what nouns are. Okay. I will give you some examples of nouns. The word dog is a noun. The word teacher is a noun. Can you guess what nouns are? Okay. A noun is the name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. Okay. It's the name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. All of us use nouns when we are talking all the time. See, I've even given you some examples. Dog is a noun. Tarun, my name, is also a noun. Bengaluru, the place where I live, that's a noun. And phone, the thing that all of you are using just now, that is also a noun. It's the name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. Can you think of any more nouns? Any more words? Okay. We will write this down today at the end of our lesson. But for now, let's go straight into our homework. Are you all ready? Okay. So this is what we are going to do today in our homework. I know it looks big and scary, but don't be worried. It's quite simple. You can see I've written the name of the chapter up here, nouns. And then you can see common and proper nouns. We won't worry about that just now. But over here, can you see a table? You can see words like actor, school, hat. Can you read them all? Teacher, shop ball, film, song, cricketer, country, hotel, and book. And you see that there are 12 words over here, okay? So before we start doing anything, you have to make this table in your notebook and I'll show you how to do it, okay? It has to be like this. You have to write down the name of the chapter, nouns over here. And underneath that, you write down the heading, common to proper noun. Please don't forget to write the day and the date and also your page number. And when you're sending me your work, please write your name also over here, okay? So I can see. After that, you will make this table. You have to divide your page into three parts like this. Then in each part, you are going to write down the words that you saw earlier, actor, school, hat. Then you leave one, two, three, four lines. And then you put down the next line, teacher, shop, ball. Okay. Don't worry. I will send you a picture of this page later so you can copy it down like this. Before we do anything else, I want you to make this table in your notebook. You can pause the video, you can stop the video here, you can do this in your notebook, and then you can start the video again. Okay? Have you finished making your table? Okay, if you finished it, let's start looking at today's work. Yeah, so you can see that this is the same table that all of you made in your notebooks. So what we have to do here is very simple. You can see the word actor over here and you can see a little box underneath that. All you have to do is write down the name of an actor 
in this box over here. Okay. Can you think of any actors? You can write down their names. Okay. I'll show you. I'm just giving you an example. I don't want you to copy exactly what I have written. I want everyone to use their own thinking and write down their own name. Okay. So I am going to write down the name of an actor over here. Hmm. Yeah. I am going to write down this actor's name. Yeah. Do you all know who this actor is? Yeah, Deepika Padukone. Have you all heard of her? Okay. So now I want you to take your own book and write down the name of an actor. Okay. Any actor. It can be a male actor, it can be a female actor. But look carefully. The first letter of the name should always be a capital letter, capital D, capital P. Done. So now you have to do the same thing for the next one. School. Can you think of the name of any school? Yeah, you all study in a school. You all know the name of that school, no? You can write that or you can write down the name of any other school anywhere. I am going to write down the name of the school that I used to teach in, in Bangalore. Okay. Yeah. There can you see quite a big name. The name of the school is St. Joseph's Boys High School. Can you think of any others names of any schools you can write your own school also but look even here all the first letters are capital letters capital s capital j capital b capital h capital s if you are writing down haji public school which letters will have to be capital letters you have to think about that okay let's Skip this one for now. We'll talk about hats later. Let's go to the next line. Let's write down the name of a teacher. Can you think of the names of any of your teachers? I'm going to write down the name of one of my teachers, one English teacher that I had in school. Her name was Rashmi Ma'am. Okay. You can write down the name of any of your teacher. But look, again, see, it's a name. So, capital R. Then the next one, shop. Can you think of the names of any shops? Now, when we go to the shop in the village, we just say, ah, I'm going to shop. But many shops have names. Okay. If you've gone to... Doda, Jammu, Kishtwar, any bigger place, you will have seen that the shops over there all have proper names. Okay. So can you remember the names of any shops? I will write down the name of a shop near my house. It's called Mamta Stores. That's the name of the shop. Okay. They sell many, many different things. Mm, then next ball can you think of the name of any ball any ball that is used to play any game every ball has a different name no you can write a cricket ball a football a basketball i am going to write down rugby ball you can write down any ball you want okay let's look at the next line now Film, movie, picture. Can you think of the name of any film? Any English film, Hindi film, it doesn't matter. Okay, you have to write down the name of the film. But the name should be correct. Do you remember any films that we watched this year? 
I am going to write down the name of that cell. Did we watch this table? No. I will write down this. Good. Do you remember the name? Do you remember this cell? Do you remember my neighbor Totoro? Hmm. Okay. Next song. Do you remember the name of any song? You can write that down. Remember now, see again, if in here the, cap the first letters of all the words are capital letters. Okay. So let's see even for a song. Hmm. Can you think of any songs to write down? I will write down um, the name of one of my favorite songs. Okay. Um, let's see which song should I write. <laughs> yes, I like this uh, song which you all have heard before. You've heard maybe many years ago. Some classes singing this song. It's called the Gedanken Zind Fry. That's the name of a song that I sang. I really like it. We sang so many songs in class. Can you think of the names of any of those songs? There's the cuckoo, I remember. There's the house building song. That's also there. So many songs that we did. Brave and True is also there. You can write down the names. And remember, the first letter should always be capital letters. Okay. Then there is cricketer. Can you think of the names of any cricketers? I'm going to write down someone. Mithali Raj. Do you know who Mithali Raj is? She is the captain of the Indian women's cricket team. Okay. Then look at the last line. There is country, hotel, and book. Do you think you can fill these in yourselves? Do you remember the names of any hotels that you have been to? Do you know the names of any countries? All of you like reading books, I know that. Do you remember the names of any books? You have to write those down, okay? I am not going to do it. I want to see how well you can think by yourself. Okay. The last one I want to talk about is hat. A cap. Now, when we wear hats and caps, we just say, Acha main, uh, topi pendra. But... There are so many different kinds of caps. Do you know that they all have different names? Do you want to see some of them? Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Here are some different kinds of hats. Okay, different kinds of caps. There are very many, many of them over here. Maybe we don't wear all of them. Mm, I'm going to draw a little circle around the some of the caps that we all wear here. Okay. That I've seen all of you wearing here. When it's very cold, especially, lots of us like to wear what happened here. When it's very cold, lots of us like to wear this cap. It's called a beanie. When it's very sunny, we all wear a baseball cap like this. Some of us wear big fancy hats. Some of the girls in your class, I'm sure, they really like wearing these hats. It's called a floppy hat. When it's your birthday and you're having a party, we often wear party hat like this one. But if you are doing some work, if you are constructing a building, if you are using a JCB and you have to be safe, you usually wear a hard hat like this. 
Have you seen someone wearing a hat like this? Hmm. Now, sometimes when you want to be very fancy on Fridays, some of us wear this hat. It's called a fedora. Error, I've seen you wearing this hat. And of course, when we are playing cricket or we're doing something like that, we wear a helmet. So there are so many different kinds of caps. I will send you this picture also. I want you to choose your favorite one, which one you like best, and you will write it down, okay? You will put it here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. You will put it in that table that you made, okay? So I will now send you this picture and you will fill it in yourselves. You will send me photos of your finished table, all right? After that, and on the next page, I want everyone to write this down. I will send you a picture of this also. A noun is the name of a person, place, animal, or thing. Then I've written dog, Tarun, Bengaluru, phone. You can write anything, okay? You can write your favorite animal with whatever it is you can write. Lion, tiger, hawk. You can write your name. You can write the name of your village. You can write the name of anything. Okay? So that is your homework today. Have fun.